There's a lot said about this thing called creativity and the more I learn about it and I've immersed myself in it for, for years, it's been the, my biggest strength, my biggest <laughs> weakness if you like. I've written books about it, articles and of course all my work whether it's painting or in the design of services and products has always been about creativity somehow. So I've had to get a real handle on it and trust me I haven't. <laughs> And that's because it's not something to get a handle on. It's this amorphous, unpredictable thing. And the thing is, if, if, if we can say, do this one thing and you'll be more creative, it turns into something to sell. And I worry about that. I worry about being able to say, I can train you to be more creative. Um, pay me some money and then I'll make you like this. Um... Whereas if we think that creativity is natural, which m originally most Eastern, Eastern philosophers do, they see it as a natural process, that nature can't exist without creativity. And that's something I truly believe in. You know, creativity is in plants, it's in the processes around us, um, it's in our natural thought processes, our brain is a creative um, entity. It can't function without creativity. And... Whilst, whilst I, you know, you, I, I truly believe, obviously, you can teach people skills so that um, they can put their creative ideas into action. As of course, you know, art college will teach you skill-based stuff as well, how to use paints, how to experiment, how to develop an idea. Um, the creative bit at the start is actually quite small, and it buzzes around all the time. You know the. The paradox of this creative thing is it needs both. It needs this floaty, wandering mind state. That's when most creative ideas hit people. Walking the dog, having a shower, brushing your hair, whatever. That thing pops into your mind and you're like, where did that come from? Um, and the word genius itself comes from the word geni or genie, which means locus or uh, loci or spirit of the place. So actually a lot of ancient traditions as well see an environment as the um, birthplace of an idea and actually infusing the spirit of an idea into somebody, which I think is a lovely idea, which is why often in coaching as well, we want to take people to different places so they can experience different thoughts and ideas as they move in the environment. But this, this one tiny little idea that buzzes round needs so much more to put it into place to implement it and for someone like me and many of you I'm sure who are creative beings very creative beings we get so bombarded we haven't got time to implement all those ideas and they kind of get lost in the ether and that's necessary maybe they're sort of flying away for someone else to develop because it's just not humanly possible I mean I think you know some of those poly great polymaths you know, I'm thinking Leonardo da Vinci, you know, he managed to put a lot of ideas into place or at least on paper. So then for people to build on them later. So somehow that little idea, you know, with a business idea, I mean, business idea this big will turn into a business so gigantic that takes years to build and so much work. And that's what we have to understand about creativity. I, I will talk mu a lot more about this action, this shape, which is like a double wave, because this is the point of the node, the, the pressure point where all the ideas squeeze in and we have this spark or this realization. And it's like a blood vessel pumping, all lungs breathing in. And out and then um, we'll talk about this a lot more another time but we need the floaty big space to let the ideas build but we need the pointy action skill based decision bit to power things forward so I have been on this quest to demystify creativity for a long time and that's kind of going to be one of the main themes of this blog um, We've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> the other theme of this blog is going to be human beings as human doings, because it's the doing that humans do that is 
it gives us joy, it gives us meaning and purpose, but it's also causing us a lot of problems as society and as humanity goes on the planet. So those are the two themes of my new vlog. And I'll speak to you soon. I've got to stop talking. It's too long otherwise.